Hi everyone and welcome, it's Vicky here and today I have a product review video. So it's been a couple of weeks that I have been working on my glass mat and I got so many questions since I started working on this, so I decided to make a product review video, show you the cons and pros and hopefully I will uh, reply to all the questions. Now the one that I am using is by Tonic Studios and you can see that it has different areas to work on and measure things out, but I will talk about it later on. So this is tempered glass which means that it's very tough and it feels really heavy, it's very sturdy and there are plastic feet underneath as you can see, so uh, when I place it on top of my surface, no matter what I do on top, it doesn't move on me. Now for years and years I have been working on uh, self-healing mats, which I do love still, but uh, I find them really hard to clean and uh, they don't take heat, at least the ones I had. So I'm uh, going to measure the one that I have so that you can see how big that surface is and uh, I'm going to give you the measurements on both inches and uh, centimeters so that's uh, 60 by 36 in centimeters and it's uh, 23 inches and three quarters of an inch by 14 and a quarter in inches and again there are many different brands of um, glass mats in the market so I'm just showing you what I have at home now the main grid area on this glass mat, the one that I am having by Tonic Studios, is in centimeters. So all the grid that you see is in centimeters and it's perfect for Europeans. I got mine from uh, Amazon UK. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, I'm just showing you what I'm using, just because I get so many questions about that. Now there are also measurement areas that you can use for creating your standard uh, card sizes. And uh, again, that's in metric system. And uh, there are also on the other side, there are also different rectangles that you can use for creating your mats all the way from a bigger to a smaller one, both in rectangles and in squares. Down below the description area you will find links to this glass mat that I am using but also to other brands that you will find in the market and they, instead of having the centimeters they will have inches. So there is an inch ruler here, the one that I am showing you here as well as that tiny little grid is in inches. I have learned to work both in centimeters and uh, inches, so this is not an issue for me, but uh, you need to keep that in mind if you want to get this uh, specific uh, glass mat. Now I'm going to show you these corners, these are plastic corners and that's how the glass mat came. So you can place them there, but I find that uh, the corners are nicely rounded and um, I like how they are. Actually, I, I tend to grab my hand on those corners, so I decided to remove them and I won't be using them at all. Now this is a glass mat that you are supposed to cut on top of it and um, I'm going to show you how easy it cuts. It really cuts like butter. I, it was a big surprise for me since I have been working on a um, self-healing mat for so long and I didn't believe that it would cut so well. But anyway, the blade just slides on top of that and this is the number one question that I got uh, since I have uh, started using this glass mat. If the knife creates scratches on top of the glass mat. Well, it doesn't create any scratches at all. It's totally smooth. Remember, this is tempered glass. It's like the glass that we have on uh, the screens of our mobile phones. But you need to remember that uh, the blade of your craft uh, knife might uh, dull sooner than if you were using it on top of a self-healing mat. Now I don't cut uh, paper too much with my craft knife on top of my surface, so this is not an issue for me, but depending on how you use your surface, then you need to keep that in mind. For me, the most important thing on a glass mat is to be able to apply heat for embossing, for example, which this glass mat can take, and also easy cleaning. Self-healing mats are not as easy to clean since they have all those scratches where the ink can go inside. So for all the mess and for many techniques like blending, I had to bring in my Ranger craft mat, but the glass mat combines everything and uh, I can do all the work on top directly. So you see it's very slippery, just like that Ranger craft mat, and I can do my blending beautifully and I don't care if I apply ink on top of my mat. This is not self-healing mat, the ink is not going to sink inside those scratches and it will be easy to remove even with without water. So I'm just going to bring in a clean cloth here 
and everything comes right off. Which makes it the perfect surface for mixed media and for tons of techniques. So for example, I can do the famous technique of Tim Holtz where I am squeezing a little bit of ink, I'm applying water and then I can bring in a watercolor paper and just place it on top of that. And it works perfectly fine and I will have no issues cleaning. Now here is another thing that I love about this surface is that it is white, which means that when I am applying a color on top of it, I can see the real color as opposed to the craft mat that I used to work on, which was brown, the Ranger one I mean. So I can use it as a palette and uh, I am going to apply a few colors with my zig markers there. And then I can easily use my water brush to apply the color on my paper as well as I can do the mixing. And I don't care at all if uh, I make a mess on top of my glass mat because it's super easy to clean. And if you find that uh, some of the ink doesn't uh, go away, just spray with a bit of water and it's brand new again. Now one thing that I had trouble with was alcohol markers. When alcohol markers touch a self-healing mat then it leaves a stain forever, which is not the case with uh, the glass mat. Just because it's so slippery, once you let it dry, it's super easy to remove. I am going to apply a couple of colors here, so you can see I'm going to bring in my towel, which is going to easily remove the stains from the alcohol markers. Now, if you find that uh, some of the ink doesn't move, then you can easily clean the surface with uh, some isopropyl alcohol. This uh, will clean both ink stains as well as uh, adhesive. And since we are testing things out, I'm going to bring in some dye inks, apply a few colors just to create a palette there and check out how easy they are to clean. And I can easily remove stains that are more persistent, such as stazon ink, for example. This doesn't come off with my towel, so I'll just uh, add a drop of my isopropyl alcohol. Or you can even use your stazon cleaner on top of uh, your glass and just clean everything off. And the number one thing that I love about the glass mat is that you can apply tape adhesive on top of it and it's really easy to remove. You can remove it with an adhesive uh, eraser or again with your uh, isopropyl alcohol. Another great thing is that you can apply your mediums directly on top of your surface as if you were uh, doing, if you were working on top of the Ranger uh, craft mat. So I have applied some embossing paste there and uh, you can uh, use your gesso on top, you can use your acrylic paints on top. You can see I am working with my gelatos there. Again, work with it as a palette and they are all easy to clean even when they are dry. And another thing that I need to point out is that uh, the grid that you see is not printed on top of the glass. It's underneath the glass, which means that no matter what you do or how hard you clean your surface, it's uh, never going to fade out. So you can easily scratch any bumps and uh, things that you might have uh, dried on top of your surface with a spatula, just like I'm doing here. Don't worry, it's going to clean the glass perfectly and it's not going to leave any scratches. And finally, it takes heat beautifully, which was not the case with my self-healing mats. So you can even emboss on top of it. You can use your fuse tool on top of it. And you can even use your heat gun and uh, the truth is that the silicone is super easy to remove once it uh, dries because it's such a slick surface. So I hope this review was helpful. I tried to cover up uh, as many things as I thought. If you still have questions, let me know below and I will answer them. And uh, I hope I have helped you a little bit to decide if a glass mat is for you or not. As always, you will find links down below to this glass mat that I used as well as to different brands and sizes. You can check out the prices in different online stores. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with a fun event.